from your perspective, what are some key characteristics of um, today's most effective data management leaders? I think we talked about a lot of these. You know, having a clear intentional data strategy is really important. Right. You know, before jumping into technology and tools, and we talked about this data tiering, you know, uh, making sure that you have uh, a clear approach to you know, bringing compute to the data, the, the data federation approach, um, the, the, you know, intentionality of having clear metrics, KPIs uh, that, that are focused on the, um, both the use of the data, but also security and resilience of the data. And so you know, what we've seen is that uh, the um, leading organizations combine these things together. They, they, they are very you know, clear about the value they're delivering. Uh, to your point, they're clear about unlocking it, making it available to everybody. But at the same time, when you do that, you must make sure that the data is available, so it's resilient, and that's you know, important. It's secure. Uh, there is the ability to get at all the data, not just islands and silos, because it's, sometimes it's, it actually turns out that having just a partial view is worse than having no view. Right. And so this notion of federation that we talked about allows you to have an end-to-end -end holistic view of your entire data estate and then building correlations, getting insight, et cetera. And so all these things, this combination of you know, federation, pipeline management, data cycle management, uh, this and then weaving it in with a clear business strategy is what we've seen leaders do a really, really good job of.